Hello everyone, it's Seth, probably better known as Saffron Olive, and it's time for another Instant Deck Tech. So as you know, Tuesday means it's Type 2 or Standard Tuesday, and we have a super crazy list to look at today. I'm calling this one Six Drop Tribal because I believe this deck is playing more Six Drops than any deck I have ever seen in the history of Magic in any format. It is really crazy. Comes to us from Maruta Runosuke, who took it to a top 8 finish in a small Japanese tournament. So congrats to Maruta on a super sweet deck. A Quick reminder before we break down Six Drop Tribal for Ixalan Standard. If you enjoy this deck and you want to see it made to videos, take a minute, click the like button, the subscribe button, leave a comment, anything you can do to support your deck, because whichever deck is most popular gets a shot at being made into videos next week. So Six Drop Tribal is built around Sunbird's Invocation. I think this is a card that pushed the deck to play so many Six Drops. So Sunbird's Invocation, six mana, fitting with the theme of Six Drop tribal whenever you cast a spell you get to reveal cards equal to that spells converted mana cost and then cast one for free with converted mana cost equal to or less than the card that you cast so basically what this means and what i think the deck's creator figured out is the best way the most powerful way to abuse sunbird's invocation is to play a lot of big things at the same converted mana cost when you think about it when you cast a six drop with sunbird's invocation out you get to look at six cards and the most value you can get out of that Sunbird's Invocation trigger is to get another six converted mana cost cards. So that pushed the deck to playing a ton of different six converted mana cost things to get the absolute most value out of Sunbird's Invocation you can possibly get. And then you can almost use Sunbird's Invocation like this really weird tutory type effect to try to get the right six drop for the right occasion. So Carnage Tyrant, kind of the hallmark six drop. It's the example we're going to use for this. So let's say we get our Sunbird's Invocation out. We cast a Carnage Tyrant. Obviously very powerful on its own. Hexproof, Trampling, 7, 6 for 6. Very, very big. But we also get that trigger. Looking at six cards to find something with converted mana cost six or less to cast for free. So we cast our Carnage Tyrant, and we can hit... Any number of six drops can bust a Boogie or Hulk to give us some card advantage. Also very powerful if our opponent chooses to take damage because we have so many six drops in our deck. Very likely our opponent could take like six or 12 damage, maybe even 18 if we're super lucky. If we need to sweep away a bunch of small creatures, Demon of Dark Schemes can come down, get rid of the board of little things, and then maybe reanimate stuff that we mill with Combustible Gear Hulk, other six drops that died. Locust God, if we want to go wide with tokens ourselves, also give us some loot value. So so a ton of six drops, but it doesn't even stop there. We also have a Johnny Unyielding. Gives us a way to deal with things like Hazaret, the Scarab God. Also generates value with the plus two, finding a bunch more six drops to play. And then Nicole Bolas God Pharaoh, not technically a six drop. A little bit of a nonbo with Sunbird's Invocation. Because if we cast a six drop, we can't actually play a Nicole Bolas God Pharaoh that we Because it's one too many mana. On the other hand, if we cast a Nicole Bolas God Pharaoh, we get to go seven deep and cast essentially any card that we hit in our deck so very powerful playing in the Cobolus God Pharaoh from our hand finding in a Johnny finding a Carnage Tyrant finding a Locust God something along those lines we also have Rishkar's Expertise which might be one of my favorite cards in the deck because not just as it draws cards but the loop here is really funny so you cast a six drop with your Sunbird's Invocation now let's say it's a Carnage Tyrant since that's the example we've been using we hit the Rishkar's Expertise we're gonna draw a ton of cards since we have so many huge creatures in our deck then we get to cast a five drop for free so with Casting one six drop, we get to cast a total of three cards. That's like so much mana we're cheating into play. So we cast a six drop, hit rich cards, expertise, draw a bunch of cards, play a five or less card for free, which means we can get a free Samet Voice of Descent, a free Glory Bringer. That's getting us like 17 mana for our six mana investment. When we cast a single six drop, if we get the rich cards, expertise, plus we're drawing all the cards, Samet is super sweet in this deck because it lets us do some really cool tricks like cast a Carnage Shine with our Sunbird's Invocation out. We hit the Samet Voice of Descent. That's going to give all of our other creatures haste, so our Carnage Tyrant is coming down with haste, smashing in at our opponent's face. Glorybringer, also a nice surprise hasty threat to hit when we cast a 6-drop with our Sunbird's Invocation out. So, so many expensive things. The deck, thankfully, does have a little bit of ramp. I'm not sure if it's enough, considering the insane amount of 6-drops that we have, but Drover the Mighty gives us some ramp. We don't have that many dinosaurs, but if we get a Carnage Tyrant out, we're able to make it a 3-3, 
which is pretty reasonable on offense or defense for a two drop. Gift of Paradise gives us a little bit of life while also ramping us towards all of our six drops. And then Hour of Promise, grabbing a couple lands out of our deck, making sure we have enough mana to cast all of our really expensive stuff. Removal wise, we have Struggle to Survive. Just, I don't know, kind of an interesting removal spell. It can kill big things in the late game. It kind of powers itself up as we go along. Maybe there's some concern that we mill ourselves out with all of our Sunbird Invocation triggers, and Struggle gives us a way to shuffle all of our six drops back into our library, keep spinning the wheel with our Sunbird's Invocation. Mana base, a couple of Attune with Ether to power up our Ether hubs, a ton of different dual lands in various colors, and then some basic lands. In the sideboard, you probably guessed it, we have a bunch more expensive creatures. Verdant Sun's Avatar, seven mana, not quite a six drop, but can come down, gain us some life in aggro matchups. Noxious Gear Hulk gains us life and blows up a creature. Herald of Anguish for controlling matchups. Repeatable Discard, another Combustible Gear Hulk to generate some card advantage, so we can customize our top end threats. We even have a Neheb the Eternal and Huatli Warrior opponent. Neheb gives us some more ramp, comes down off our Sunbird's Invocation, we cast a six drop. Huatli generates some dinosaurs, good in controlling matchups, just sitting out there making tokens turn after turn after turn sweltering suns another struggle to survive for removal and then some more ramp i'm not sure why this just isn't in the main deck a little weird to have ramp spells in the sideboard i guess if you're gonna increase your converted mana cost even more by bringing in seven drops over your six drops maybe you need a little extra ramp but i, I wish the deck had more main deck ramp i feel like the deck is a little ramp light so maybe there's a way to squeeze these cards into the main deck to make sure we're actually able to cast our six drops most games and that is six drop tribal for standard and that's our instant deck deck for today so thank you very much for watching i hope you enjoyed the video and i will talk to you soon thanks for watching the video if you enjoyed it help us out by clicking that like button down below and to keep up on all the latest and greatest click that subscribe button and don't forget to hit that bell icon to get alerts whenever we have new videos and if you want to check out some of our other sweet videos here and here